This video is the first in the series of tutorials on Mastercam 2017. We're going to take a look at the new workspace and I'll show you how to make a few customizations. So first thing to notice here is that the toolbars are gone. It's been replaced by the ribbon bar. So this is much like Microsoft 2010 and then other software like Inventor or SolidWorks. So if you've used that software, you'll be used to it. If you're a previous user of Mastercam and used to the toolbars, this should be an easy adaptation for you. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is that all of your commands have been split up into these tabs. So the first tab is the home tab. The next one over, if we go ahead and check that out, file, just like before, that's where you save, open, export, but this is also now where configuration and options are. So we'll get to that in a minute. So let's go back. The first tab you have here is the home tab. So in here, you can do things like copy and paste, edit the attributes, organize your levels, delete things. So a pretty useful tab. Next one over is wireframe. This allows you to draw lines, arcs. Next one over, surface, create 3D surfaces, solids, create 3D solids. Model prep will allow you to alter or change 3D models. Next one over is drafting. This will allow you to annotate or add dimensions. Transform, these used to be called X forms, and this is things like translate, rotate, scale. The next tab, art, you may or may not have. It's uh, useful if you're doing things like routers or laser engravers. Next one, machine. This is where you're gonna choose your machine type. So a mill, lathe, wire, whatever you're using. This also allows you to make changes to the simulator or run the machine simulation. Last one is view. And view allows you to change what you're looking at in the graphics window, or it allows you to alter your workspace. So for example, if I close this tab over here, close that tab, close that tab, I can turn back on my toolpath manager, my solid manager, and my plane manager. So you can go ahead and turn those on and off right in this little managers area. So you'll get used to where these things are and you'll get used to flipping through these tabs. It's a little easier than the toolbars. Even if you are used to the toolbars, everything's pretty easy to find and it's really well labeled. If you do need to find something and you can't find it, you can hover over and it'll tell you what it is. And some of these have drop downs that you can get into and you'll have other options. For example, rectangle, there's other options below the rectangle or points, there's other options down there. So you'll get used to that. I'm gonna go back to the home tab. So the next thing, let's go down here and look at our managers. So all the managers are kind of in these tabs as well. And we have toolpath manager, our solids manager, the planes manager, and our levels. So this is a little nicer than how it used to be. And this is a dockable, floatable panel here. So you can put this anywhere you like. I'm gonna put it back where it was. And you can have those individually split up. So if you have two monitors, for example, you could take these guys and put them on your other monitor. So I'm gonna go back to uh, the toolpaths. So the next thing they've added here, there's the only toolbar on here is the quick access toolbar. And you can customize that if you drop this down allows you to customize. If you click it, it gives you a bunch of other options. Next thing we have here, you have this auto cursor toolbar. That's the other toolbar they added. And then on the side here where your most recently used toolbar used to be, these are all of your quick masks. So this is a really handy little toolbar and you'll get used to it once we start using it. Now down here at the bottom, if you take a look down here, this looks a little different. You have your digital readout and you have your planes, but you don't have your level entities and all that. So what do you do about that? Well, the right click menu is way better than it used to be. Go ahead and right click and you'll see you have all of that options right here as well as your normal right click menu. So you can edit this right click menu, but everything you need is usually right here. So if I want to change the level of something, I can do that here. If I want to change the color, I can do that there. So that's a pretty handy little tool to have right at your right click menu. So now that we know a little bit about the new interface, let's take a look at how to customize it. So to do that, let's go up here to the file tab and go down here to configuration. Now, if you have an old configuration file from a previous version, it should load in. 
However, if this is your first time, or if you want to make a new file, let's just go ahead and do that. So go down here to Save As. And I'm going to save this as example and hit save. Now you don't want to edit the original Mastercam file in case you want to get back to original settings. So the first thing I want to do, I do not like this background. I'm going to make it black. So I'm going to go down here to colors. Go to background color. Go to gradient direction and change it to none. And then I'm going to grab black. The next thing I want to do is go down here to geometry color and I'm going to change that to bright green. And then I'm going to go to grid color and change that to white. So I'm now going to save those edits by hitting apply and say yes. So those edits have just been made. So now I'm going to go down here to screen and open that up and let's go to grid settings. Now I like to have a little grid that just tells me where my origin is. So for spacing, I'm going to put 0.5 for X and Y. And for size, I'm going to put in one inch. I'm going to hit apply. So now I have a smaller grid. So now let's go down here to view settings. So in view settings, I like to use a space ball. So I actually have a left hand mouse and a right hand mouse. So I do not like to have my middle mouse button rotate. I'd like to have it pan. So I'm going to change that there. I'm going to say yes. And a lot of students prefer that as pan rather than rotate. So I'd recommend making that change. All right. Last thing we're going to do is go down here to start exit. And if you're working on the same computer every time, let's go ahead and make sure that your default configuration file loads automatically. So to do that, where it says startup settings, let's go here and choose the one you just made. So I would put your name in that or something so you know it's yours. And then all we need to do is hit apply, say yes. And when we're done, we can hit the check. So there's my new workspace. Now this black background is kind of harsh with this white so I'm gonna change my theme now and this is a new feature for 2017 you can actually change the appearance of your ribbon so to do that let's go up here to file this time you're gonna go down to options and this is also the place where you can change your quick access toolbar up here you can customize your ribbon you can change your right click menu and you can mess around with the way the software looks. I like to have the black theme with a red accent. This is the way I like my Mastercam to look, but you can make it look any other way you want. Now I also have this big white panel here. I'm not a big fan of that. So if you drop down this arrow for options, you can go to background color. I'm gonna change it to dark gray. And then I'm going to go up here to line color. I'm going to change that to white. And then I'm also going to change my font to white. So now when I grab a machine group, my text appears in white and it's easy for me to see. You can feel free to customize this however you like make it yours and it'll be a little easier to work in. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how to create basic geometry and how to use some of the new features in Mastercam 2017. Hope you'll join me for the next one.